All right, guys, did you know that a mason jar plus heavy whipping cream equals butter? Really, it is just that simple. All you need is heavy whipping cream. Get the best quality you can, because the better the quality of the cream, the better the quality of your butter. I usually make this in a quart size jar, so four cups. And I usually only put in about a cup of cream. If you fill it too much, you're not going to really be able to shake it. When you're doing this in a jar, you're going to need to shake it for about 10 to 15 minutes. First, it's going to turn into whipped cream, and I'll show you what it looks like at that point. And then you just need to keep on going. So what's happening is that cream is a colloid, which means that it's a watery substance with fat globules kind of floating around. And as you shake the cream, those cell walls of the fat globules are going to smash together until all the fat clumps together and separates from the buttermilk. And that is how you get your butter. You can also do this in a food processor or in a standing mixer, but I personally think that shaking in a jar is way more fun and it's a good arm workout and good dinner party trick. All right, so I've been shaking for about five minutes, and you can see that we have some beautiful whipped cream. So if you wanted this with a pumpkin pie, you'd stop right here, but we want to keep going. It'll take about another five to seven minutes. All right, so I've been shaking for a few more minutes. I just want to show you that we're getting closer. We're past the point of whipped cream but we're not quite there yet, so you want to keep going, but this is a good sign. All right, can you guys hear that sloshing? That means the fat has separated from the buttermilk, and we have got beautiful butter. Okay, now the next step is separating the butter from the buttermilk. And you want to make sure you get all that buttermilk off because if any of it is left on the butter, it will make it spoil and go bad really quickly. So what you need to do is get a cheesecloth or a flour sack cloth like this. You need a bowl and then a metal sieve. So just put the flour sack over the sieve and you're just going to dump it all in. Buttermilk and butter and all. All right. And then from here, I like to just kind of squeeze the butter to make sure I get as much buttermilk off as I can. Kind of like milking a cow udder. All right, look at that beautiful color. All right, but we're not quite finished yet. Now we need to rinse the butter to make sure we really got all that buttermilk off. Okay, so what you want to do is just get a bowl and put your beautiful butter. Oh. And then you want really cold ice water because if it's too warm, all that butter is just going to melt. And you're just going to pour a little bit on and you're going to use your hands and just kind of smash it. It's really fun. Put it all around. And then you're going to pour this water out. And then you just want to continue that process a few times until the water runs clear. So more cold water, pressing it around. All right, this looks great, so I'm just gonna move this to the side. And now, we have our beautiful butter. I think everything's better with a little bit of salt, so we're gonna put a little salt on there. Just a little pinch. All right, now this beautiful butter is ready to enjoy. I highly recommend slathering on some hot crusty bread or my personal favorite is dipping some radishes in it with a little bit of flaky sea salt. It is just the best thing in the world. A really great crudite platter if you're having people over. So just dip it in a little butter. Go big or go home. Sprinkle a little flaky sea salt. Mm. Go good. All right, so now you know how to make homemade butter. So just grab some cream, grab a jar and some friends, shake it up, 
and dip it up. Come on a little bit more. Alright, it was really good.